I'm Adam Ward. I'm a professional freelance Lego artist. Yeah, that is my real job. I'm gonna help you build amazing Lego creations that make this world a little more awesome. This is Brick by Brick. Hello, welcome to Brick by Brick. I'm your host, Adam Ward. I build art, furniture, accessories, tissue box covers, weird movable triangles, all using Lego bricks. And today we're gonna teach you how to make something awesome. Friends, it is time to make a puzzle box. I've been making puzzle boxes for years. They're one of my favorite things to build. And there's so many different Lego elements that you can incorporate to make the openings different or the keys different or the locks different. Let's meet today's puzzle box. At home, you can name your puzzle box whatever you want. This one's Sheldon. Sheldon has a key. Slide the key out and push the key right back where it came from boop, to reveal the little drawer. Now this drawer can only open if the key goes in just right. There's a piece on the back which keeps it locked. And in addition, the key actually goes between two parts of the box. So there's no getting it out unless you know the secret. Sheldon can be built with 145 pieces, but there's a bunch of different ways to make Sheldon. So if you don't have these exact pieces, don't sweat it at all. It's all good. One of the great things about Lego is there's a bunch of ways to do the same things with different bricks. He doesn't even have to be all green. He can be purple or red or orange or multicolored. You can make Sheldon however you want. Our version has one one by one brick, one one by two brick, three one by three bricks, four one by four bricks, eight one by six brick, three one by eight bricks, one two by two brick, 10 two by three bricks, and one two by four brick. And then some plates. Sheldon's gotta have plates. Sheldon has 22 two by fours, 12 one by eights, and seven of these six by eights. Now these six by eights are awesome. They're big, so if you don't have them, you can also use a four by six or some two by sixes, a bunch of different ways. But if you have big plates, use them. We got 50 of these one by four tiles, four of the one by two tiles, 16 of the one by two slopes, and then we've got the little locking mechanism that keeps the drawer from falling off. Now it's time to build. So we're gonna start with Sheldon's base. Once you have all the pieces for the base in place, you wanna give it a really nice squeeze. We all need a good squeeze every now and then. Squeezing it will make sure all the pieces are right up next to each other and you've got no weird gaps. So now the floor to the base is done. This is where the key and the shelf will slide. And that's the base. Now to make the key. So your key should look like a question mark with the arm reaching out to the right. Now, we're gonna build the drawer. Now, your drawer will look like a little table, and a great way to test it is by putting it on top of the key in the base that you've just made. It should all fit really nicely. And you can already pull the key out. When the key's in, the drawer is locked. Now for the walls of the drawer. The very first piece is the most important. This is one by two with the hole. That goes in the dead center on the back. There, now your drawer can actually hold stuff. Okay, now Sheldon needs this piece to help lock in the drawer. So just lift the drawer out and put it just like that. Now when you take the key out and slide the drawer in, it'll 
will snap into place. Now we can slide the drawer back in, snap it into place, and slide the key in. Now the drawer is in there, it's not going anywhere. Now for the lid. Now Sheldon is almost complete. I'm gonna build the curved green top you saw in the beginning. But if you wanna put a different design or write your initials and Lego, there's a ton of different things you can do. Final piece. Do you have your last piece ready? Ready to finish your build? Here we go. Three, two, one. So that is a wrap on Sheldon. There he is. All done, all the pieces tucked inside, ready to go. And if your Sheldon looks different, it's all good. Maybe yours is two different colors, Maybe you started a pattern and ran out and it's got three or four different colors, or maybe you were just grabbing pieces left and right to try to put it together and it looks something like this. That's awesome. It still does the same thing. It's an awesome puzzle box. And every time you look at it, you'll be reminded of something you created. Now the question is, what do you put inside one of these? What do you put inside a puzzle box? Some change, some money. Well, there's not a ton of space, so it can't fit much. So that means whatever you put in is pretty special. I think I'm gonna put some intentions in mine. Uh, and an intention, if you don't know, is something that you wanna create in the world. So I'm gonna put a few intentions in this. And that way, every time I look at it, I'll be reminded of that which I wanna create. And just like Sheldon, you can create it too. So Ben Cake, subscribe. If you wanna share your awesome creation, and you should, because you did an amazing job, you can post any of the photos to our Facebook page or anywhere else on social media. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more awesomeness like this. Hit us up on Twitter, Vine, Instagram, all of those things. Peace, thanks so much. I'm out.